Just like the human body make up of body, the head, hands, the legs. The guitar is made up of different parts. And there are three main parts of the guitar. For those of you who were here in the last training, can anyone remember what part of the guitar are? Is it? Body. The body. And then the next one is the string. The string is part of the guitar, but the part of the guitar. It's part of a, it's a subsection of a bigger part. Anybody else? So the body is one part. Anybody remember? Yeah. You remember? remember? What's the most important part of a human body? Let me tell you, what is the most important part? The heart. 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 The most important part of your body? One of the most important parts. You just stop here. You just stop it. What did you just stop? Where you have your hands on? The head. The head. The head. The head controls the brain, right? So the head. So the guitar has a head. What, con what, what connects the head to the body? The neck. So just as the human body has a head, a neck, and a body, same way the guitar. Head. So this is the head, neck, neck, body. body. Yeah? Okay. Three simple parts. And again, again, look at it. Remember, it's easy to remember. The biggest part of the human is the body, right? From your from, from shoulders down, as the body. That's the guitar. The biggest parts, as the body. The neck is the thin parts. The thin parts? Just like your neck. And the head, the brain. This is the brain of the guitar. This is the way you tune the way you get all the song. So your head, neck, and body. So this is, this is that's the guitar, the three main parts. But in the head, there are parts, just as in, in our head, we have our eyes, our mouth, our nose, ears, brain. Same way the head has different parts. And the part in the, in the head we look at is these silver things. Anybody remember what we call them? Yeah? Tuners? Not tuners, they are tuning pegs. Tuning peg. They are used to tune the strings to get the proper song. Alright, so tuning pegs and the, this white thing here you see here, it separates the head from the neck. It is called a knot. Alright, that's where the strings are to separate the strings. So this is the neck. The neck has what we call the fret and the finger bone. The fret and the finger bone. So, what, what, do you think, what do you think is the fret? What do you think, do you think is the fret in the, in the guitar? The long silver thing. Long silver thing. You can see that. This separate down here. These are the frets. Okay? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and so on. Different guitars have different, different amounts. Yeah? And the, when they are resting on the fingerboard, all right. And then we come to the body. The body has. What do you think this is for? Song hole. Song hole. And we have these here. Saddle. Yeah. Saddle. And, the, and the breeze. Yeah. And the pegs to hold the strings down. Yeah, so every part has its individual use and then on pieces. Yeah. The one last part of the guitar that we're talking, you realize it connects all three. That is what? The last part of the guitar that connects all three. It connects the head, head, neck, and the body. What is it? The string. Right? So the strings connects all three. All right, so that's the basic parts of the guitar. So everybody, you get a, you get a copy of this. Everybody get a copy of this. All right, so you, you can learn, learn your guitar. Any left hand? Does anybody play with the left hand? Anybody the left hand here? Where is right hand? So where is right hand? Did you play? All right. So 
we learn the, the part of the guitar, but the first part, the second part of the playing the guitar is that you use both hands. Mm -hmm. For the right handers, you use the left hands, left finger basically, form the cards and hold the guitar, the neck of the guitar, and the right hand to strum the guitar. You don't play a strong, a strong guitar. You don't play a strong. All right. Now, the fingers have numbers. Fingers on your thumb, right? So we have, so we have five. We have, we have four, four fingers on our thumb. All right. So the thumb is what holds, the, what we use to hold the guitar. So you see. Behind. Yeah. The thumb holds. That's how you hold your guitar. Yeah. All right. And these are your fingers. One closest to the thumb is your first finger, second finger, third finger, and your fourth finger. So your thumb, first, second, third, foot. It's easy to remember. So after you remember your thumb, second, third, foot. All right? So four fingers and thumb. And these are the four fingers you use to make and form the chords you play. For what we're going to be doing, what we're going to be doing and teaching you now, you'll basically be using three fingers. The first, second, and third finger. The fourth finger is for when you get more advanced, you have to more. But the first, first few chords you're going to learn, you're going to be doing three fingers. The first, second, and third. Alright? Alright? I will encounter my encounter twelve string guitars on the string board. Basically, a twelve string guitar is the same as a six string guitar. You just, you just double up each of the strings. So there are six basic strings: first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, starting at the bottom up. All right. And like I said, they're all different sizes, but each of the string has a name. So the first string is also known as the E string, the high E, all right? So that's, that's because that is like that or like this, hold him like that, yeah? You take him up like this, you don't just hold him any and any way, right? Especially the children pets, always stay away from, stay from the head. Stay from the head. Yeah? Very important, you just like your head, if you knock your head, you go crazy, yeah? You see your head, have you? Your head, that's active. Lovely. Uh, another thing again, you get proper seating. You see everybody sitting and they spray now. out. When it comes to sitting, there are some simple steps that you'll do. You sit with your feet closed, properly seated. Especially boys, you sit like a lady. That's the only time you'll sit like a lady. With your foot closed. Yeah? Lovely. On the guitar, we have this nice little curve. It, it has its purpose. Yeah? It sits neatly on your leg. See how comfy it is? So you don't put it there. You don't put it there. You don't put it there. And obviously not there. <laughs> yeah? Sits on your leg neatly. Makes it comfortable, yeah? And your feet always planted on the floor, right? Now for the short ones like Jai, I'll Jace, get the name right. Chase. Chase, right? Your, 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 your leg will never touch the ground in the next 10 years. So what you do, you come forward on your chair, on the end of the chair. Just come forward. There you go. And you sit yourself right down. And then your guitar will fit. As Mr. Lefkis said, your right hand is not important when playing music, when learning to play music. A guitar, yeah, your right hand is there, you know, you leave him alone. The left hand is most important, right? And holding the guitar with your left hand, your, your left hand holds the guitar. So you see, wait, 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 wait. with the guitar from the side here, Everybody get your left hand like this? Yeah. Get your left hand, your left hand. Left hand. Who doesn't know the left hand? 
And remember, the thumb is what holds the guitar at the guitar. back. So there will be a little tension, but it works. And then remember the fingering. So, as, as, as let me say, this is the quickest you will ever learn to play the guitar. Remember? Remember it. First finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Yeah? And then you go to the guitar on the left hand. On, on the guitar, remember, let me say, there is first fret, second fret, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And as you mentioned it before, that you only need three frets to work with. So forget the four, three, six. That is for advanced play. Yeah, this time, the basic is one, two, three. So remember, three frets, three fingers. Four fingers coming in after. Yeah? So you add the finger to the fret as you advance. Yeah? And then the strings, one, two, three, four, five, six from the bottom. Yeah, so first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. We will teach you the strings today, tomorrow, and then we put you on guitar. Yeah, those are for the new ones anyway. Right? And basically, that's what all you need to know for now. Yeah? Remember strings is a E first, B second, G third, D fourth, A fifth, and another E. So randomly, I'll just say, put your first finger on the seventh string in the tenth fret. Where would that finger go? Well, somewhere, because there is no seventh string, isn't it? Uh, exactly. So, you got to remember where the fingers are and how much strings you're working with, yeah? It's very important that you remember those things. First finger, fifth string, second, second fret. fret. Second fret. Second fret. Pull it up over here, Kira. So you go from below. Right, first, first finger. finger. Fifth string, fifth string in the second fret. Fifth, fifth string. Yeah. Fifth string. And you keep that there. Alright. And the first part. Now remember, Mr. Matheson said, well, the Matheson said that he can burn you. Exactly. Jikai. 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 You want to be Jikai, right? Right. You, you press hard. You don't play anything, remember? The right hand has nothing to do with you. Okay. So you leave that hand away. That right hand belongs to me and Mr. Madison. We are the ones that will play the notes to know that your you run is not holding them tight enough. There we go. That's the song. Yeah, you could play already, so you could press your string.